Guess who it is? Guess who it is? Your favorite vlogger and traveler. We are here in the Grand Canyon. Specifically, we're in the South Rim of the Grand Canyon. Drive wasn't too bad. It took us about eight hours from the LBC. I guess the first thing to report is somehow during my little sunflower seed eating expedition on the way here, I chit my tooth. I f feel like a hillbilly right there. It sucks. It's like jagged as f I feel like a goddamn hillbilly. Just yesterday, I was talking to Nicole's mom about one of my biggest fears is chipping my teeth. And what the f happens? I chip my tooth. <sighs> All right, well, we're gonna have to take care of that when I get home. But for now, uh, these McGriddles that I just had, Nicole and I had a couple McGriddles. I had the sausage, egg and cheese. She had the bacon, egg and cheese. And um, it's going through me quite quickly. <laughs> So one very early positive about this place is that, uh, well, check-in is technically, or technically wasn't till 12 o'clock, but we got to do early check-in at nine. Yay. Uh, second good thing, bathrooms are spotless. Perfect, perfect and spotless. Which also might be because it's so empty here. Uh, it only looks like there's like one other spot taken up right now of people camping actually two There's one over there and one over there But pretty much it's just us here. It is empty. I don't know if that's because of how cold uh, It is right now in this time of the season. Uh, it's about 48 50 degrees right now and at night it's supposed to get down to about 18 so Get ready. This shit's about to get heavy. I just settled all my lawsuits Debbie well, anyway, another discovery that Nicole made over here is uh, this campsite has recently had some visitors. Some kind of fresh pellets here. Which I assume must be uh, elk. Maybe we'll get some elk hanging out with us tonight. I brought enough beers for all of us. Up making the breakfast and uh, there's a couple a couple fellas that want to come over and say hey hey guys girls hey ladies Look at that sexy strut you have. Oof. Ooh, I love that ass, but I hate that outfit.
I mean, it's just views on top of views on top of views everywhere you look. And the older I get, the more my body is like, hey, you're pretty high, why don't you watch out? And that's how it is every single time. I mean, yeah, this is all pretty safe. These rails have been here forever. They seem pretty sturdy and safe. But I cannot help get nervous being up here. I hate that. I don't know if that just comes with being old or it's just most of us are naturally inclined to be scared when you're up this high and there's a grand canyon right there. Well, let's trek on. What'd you say? I said I'm out of shape. Hey, I'm huffing and puffing too. gonna try to end up at that point somewhere over there uh, it's supposed to be a pretty long hike but what it eight hours uh, seven and a half yeah. seven and a half hours about, well I've heard 12 to 15 miles but it's called plateau point you can see the Colorado River. but keep in mind nothing ever goes right and tomorrow it's supposed to not only rain but snow So I'm really glad we're actually getting to experience this Grand Canyon. We both have been here, not together, but on separate occasions. I, I was here maybe 11 years ago, and it was pretty awesome. But I am glad we are doing this since we, uh, this could be our last chance to get to do something this epic before, you know, a couple countries uh, go into some nuclear battles. Thanks a lot, Russia. Yeah, hopefully uh, I even get to make a video and nuclear war hasn't destroyed our lives and uh, this earth it is doom gloom We're, this is a lot more serious than you might understand lady Vladimir yeah Putin well as we're talking here looks like this might be the end of the road back to this silly little Russia thing Casey has been hiding under a bed or hiding under a rock or down in the Grand Canyon and you haven't gotten a lick of news. Russia invaded Ukraine and have sort of kind of threatened the world. If you uh, interrupt, we are a nuclear superpower or we're going to do our best to make you go bye-bye. I don't know how this can play out in anything but a bad situation made worse. I mean, realistically, What's Putin gonna do? Oh, all right, I've been stopped, I'm done. Or is it more likely Putin's gonna be like, all right, I can't win this war, but neither can you. I think that's a little more likely, and that's scary. Cause that would probably just be like, all right. Boop, 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 boop. Even if we stop 99%, of anything fired at us, 1% is still uh, a problem. Houston, we have a problem. But let's just hope that doesn't happen and let's just hope somehow it works itself out. But if it doesn't, at least we got to see this. Hey, lady. Although it did say like 6.8 miles or something like that, but on that map it made it look like we were super close to being done. Everything looks like it could just crumble. You know what? I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm not gonna push you off yet. stumbled across what looks like it's going to be the best view yet.
week. Eat it up, drink it up, soak it up. Oh yeah. Oh, that view, that view. So we were out here yesterday and it was way busier than this. Right now we are like maybe one of like four people that are out here. Can't even hear them or see them. So it's quite nice. Yeah, it's just a little unfortunate that the sun has been setting behind us. So we can only get views going that way. So we can't actually get the sun going down over the, uh, the canyon, which would have been incredible. Not complaining, these views are still amazing. However, you know what time it is? A tiny bit of an echo. What do you mean? No. That's how you scare somebody into falling off the cliff. If somebody falls, it was probably my fault. I'm sorry. time to make a little bit of music. Hit it, Nicole. So we have returned from... Shut up, I'm not talking to you. So we've returned from our epic views during sunset. And now it's time to take my Puerto Rican shower which is just getting some baby wipes and wiping my shit all sorts of up. And then, get that fire started, and then, it's Taco Thursday. Ooh-wee! So now, that I've taken my lovely Puerto Rican shower, it feels so fresh and so clean, clean. It's time to get this fire going. Uh, the temperature is dropping quick. I don't know what, it's probably somewhere in the Probably about 50, 51 right now, maybe a little bit lower. It's supposed to drop to about 18 again tonight. Maybe some snow flurries, maybe a little bit of the rain. But until then, I gotta get this fire going so I can fire up our tacos. Crunchy Taco Bell tacos. And just in case we want to do the hard, hard tacos, we got soft, soft tacos here. We got options. Yeah. Alright, food is red to the D. We got the peppers and onions. We got the steak here. We got tacos here. We got soft tacos there. We got guacamole somewhere here. We got beers. Life is good. Oh yeah, brother. So it has come to my attention that uh, in about 30 minutes, is it 30 minutes? Uh, yeah. In about 30 minutes, there's a 50% chance of rain. So we are gonna break this shit down, call it a night, and hope for the best, but expect the worst. Them winds is picking up, ooh wee. You can hear it. About, seriously, less than like six minutes ago, I was doing a time lapse 
and you could see a whole sky full of stars. Now you can't see one goddamn star in the sky. All right, looky, looky, looky here. We got some marshmallows. We got the Chips Ahoy cookie. We got the Reese's peanut butter cup. We got the Hershey's, but not just the normal Hershey's. We got that cookies and cream Hershey's. Look what we got here. We got some cinnamon graham crackers. Ooh-wee! Dear Nicole, you maybe uh, shimmy that piece of wood over and get this flame a-poppin'? Now just slide it over a little. Bit. Sure looks good to me. Now would you please swing in my way? Now put that. Oh boy. Oh boy, what did she do? Put it out. What did she do? Put it out. Oh. Good lord. <laughs> I told you not to let me do it. Nicole, slide this over so you can get the fire popping. No, Karim. I'm just gonna put it out. Well, she is. We're back in business. Excuse me. I'd like to get by now. First step: roast the marshmallow. Do you need a toaster? Right? No. Last time I tried to do something for me. Up royally. Marshmallow toasted. Graham cracker. Use that finger of yours that you haven't washed in about a day, and just slide that right off. Then, you're gonna grab that amazing, absolutely amazing Reese's peanut butter cup. Stack that right on top of that. Even push it down with that dirty finger, just push it down. Look at that, you get that little quick, 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 quick. Then, you're gonna get that Hershey's cookies and cream. Oh, look at that. Mmm, it's delicious. Throw that right on top of there. Next, you grab that Chips Ahoy, you look it in the eye and you say, we are gonna have ourselves a treat. Put it on top. Then, graham cracker right there. You put that shit on top and look at that. Oh my goodness. Just look at that. Ah, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then, you devour that shit. Although since maybe I chipped my tooth the other day, maybe I shouldn't try to devour that shit. What am I thinking? <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm an idiot. Let the rains come. I've had my fun. All right, so we woke up crazy early this morning, 5.45 in the morning, so we'd come do this. The Bright Angel Trail. Sunrise, we're here. It's freezing, like 30 degrees out. And uh, let's do it. Gonna be some great views, some cold ass weather, and it's supposed to rain, so let's hurry up and do this trek before we get caught in some sort of a weird storm. As you can see, there still is a bunch of ice down here. Let's hope that's the extent of it so it doesn't get too slippery. Uh, we rented some walking sticks for like 14 bucks instead of paying about 150 bucks for one. Good job, Nicole, finding that. This trail is crazy icy. It's like nothing but ice. Ice, 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 baby. Talk about dangerous, huh? Should've got the shoes instead of the poles. This is legitimately just all ice. There's still time to turn around. All right, 
So we have made a quick executive decision. As you can see, she's struggling to get up right now. I should get off here and help her out, but it's too fucking slippery and too dangerous probably to be doing this. So we're gonna turn around. All right, come on. Do you need help getting over here? You wanna hand me the poles and I'll... Yeah, ish. You good? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little too dangerous. Guys, you guys have heard me. I mean, look at all this. It's just straight up ice. I mean, look at that. And then look at that. That's too dangerous. It's too bad, but safety is more important than, than going down this uh, trail. All right, we're back at the, uh, the campsite. And it's a little unfortunate that we didn't get to do that hike, but we're alive. And it's better to be alive than be dead. And uh, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. So if you look over here, we get some not so great looking clouds. And since it's supposed to rain and or snow, maybe it's better that we weren't stuck about, you know, five miles in without a way to get back immediately. So we'll look at it that way. Get some breakfast going, get the fire going, and we'll see what we're up to today. And maybe we'll get to see some snow over the Grand Canyon. Huh? Thank you. All right, so we finished up breakfast. And now we're gonna do a little hike to hopefully get out to an angle that we haven't been to yet. I do believe we will get the angle we want. Clouds have definitely taken over. And the sun just decided to poke out. Yeah, but you can see how cloudy it is now. Yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna get some sort of pre precipitation. So we found ourselves uh, a horse stable by one of the trails here. What's this called, the Khabib Trail or something? Look at the size of these mofos. This horse over here has the head of 10 horses. Or this a mule? These are uh, mules, right? Mules. We got some mules here. Look at this majestic fella. Hey guys. We're taking a little bit of a rest. How do you make it down the the mountainside when it's so icy. We barely got half a mile and this one almost fell off. What about you? So we officially have some snow flurries happening. You can kind of see them now. 
Oh, oh boy. Look at this, huh? Couple snow flurries. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing on a string. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing on a string. Nothing quite like having your uh, camping trip interrupted by some snow flurries. It goes into little bouts of uh, decent flurries to barely nothing flurries. Right now it's barely nothing flurries. But while we're waiting for the flurries to approach, I'm gonna try this new beer I found uh, from Pipeworks. It's an Imperial Stout Ale with cookie wafers, vanilla, cacao, and lactose. Sounds tasty. All right, here are the flurries now. Here we go. All right, so not only do we have some snow flurries here, but uh, we got some company too. This guy right here. Well, what can you say? It's winter time. It's cold, and therefore it's snowing. So it's our last night here. Oh man, my God, that smoke's right in my eye. So last night here, we're dealing with, uh, we were dealing with snow. We dealt with a little bit of the flurries. Now we're dealing with some sort of a version of hail. Snow hail. Snow hail. Let's call it snow hell. Snow hell. Uh, we're trying to get a quick supper going. We're just gonna do very soup-like things because uh, cooking ain't gonna be easy. You know what's gonna happen right now is we are gonna try to quickly eat our supper and go indoors because it's full on raining right now. In the end, we got snow. About an inch of snow. It's pretty cold out. It's like 28, 29 degrees. We got ourselves some sort of a winter wonderland here. Not too bad. Fire still uh, survived somehow. We're just gonna let it rage on for the night. <laughs> 